So really quick, for people who watch this and listen to this podcast, mm-hmm. I have a lot of Christians and church folks that don't know a lot about um, the homeless lifestyle oh, wow. that watch this. So the reason why we do this mm-hmm. podcast is for those viewers and the followers of this, um, get kind of a view of what it's like. So, so for for let's say for you, you get up in the morning, you go to your bathroom, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, and you're off, you know, doing whatever it is you need to do. For a homeless person, they get up and they look around and they go, what the fuck? They can't go brush their teeth. They can comb their hair maybe if they can do that. But, but it becomes, they become lost. The longer they're homeless, the harder it is for them to come back. Mm-hmm. Because believe it or not, you grow accustomed to your surroundings. Mm-hmm. You have to or you won't survive. You know what so I mean? what? So then? So what is the transition like going from homeless to house? For me, it was difficult because they moved me from I was behind Kmart, and I moved up Jefferson to Alameda. <laughs> now it's not a very far distance, right? It's a very short, maybe two minute, three minute car ride, something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, when you're homeless. And you're going from point A up Jefferson. I kept going, this is so far. This is too far, you know, because I was all of a sudden out of the area that I knew best into a whole nother area. Mm -hmm. And it took me a while to get used to it because it was so quiet. Mm -hmm. You don't hear shopping carts. Mm -hmm. You don't hear the train. You don't hear periodic yelling. You know, you don't hear any whistling because homeless people would whistle for each other. You don't hear any of that, and it's very strange, mm-hmm. and it was very difficult for me to get used to. So it was only scary quiet. Yeah, yeah. And I, so I would turn the TV on, turn the radio on, and turn all the lights on, and I still do that. I still leave my TV on. Yeah. Yeah. But how, how is it now, though? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. And they tell you, you know, they say, well, you don't bring anybody to your house and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know me, Pastor Dave. I, you know, I take a lot of the girls up there to, so they can take a shower. And, and my landlord doesn't mind. You know, my landlord doesn't mind. Okay. And I know you're not supposed to, but, you know. I get it. You know what I mean? I, I, I you know, God gave me all these things. He didn't just give them to me and say, here, it's for you. Right. He gave it to me for a reason, and he knew I would do what he wants me to do. So, and now you have, so now you... you, Now I have a big family. Now you have a big family. Big, like 150, 200 homeless people. Right. So now, 